<laughs> hey, what is up? My god, I am stuck in Stonehenge with this psycho. Yeah, seriously, I'm fighting Mana Wyden Fab Lalur. Yeah, I'm not kidding, that is his name. And he's like insane. I got him to 50 life points. I could have killed him with Hinotama if it was in my deck right now, but it's not. And he played a card that literally brought his life points from 50 back to 4,000. I don't even know it. I have no words. Oh, he's got one too. Jesus. Huh. Oh, cool, it's got some little animation, so we can play another card. You see, a computer always does this. It plays Solomon's Law Book, and then it just plays, like, it activates Solomon's Law Book, so he just plays another card. Like, I see that as a waste. Like, I like to set Solomon's Law Book, so I really can do, like, a 1-2 with my cards. Okay, you would have been really useful when you played that freaking dying Keto the Cure Master. Like, what is that bullshit? Like, come on. I can't even. You know what? I want to... Wait, let me see my hand again. Uh, I could beef up a pumpkin. Uh, I just want to draw more cards. Uh, I'm not going to play the rule book yet. In fact, I think I'm going to start attacking stuff with the rule book. Because <laughs> I, I doubt what he's got are monsters down there. Force, you're going to die. Yeah. He's, I think he's just doing this to get rid of my life points, which is A-OK. -okay. I got another Ryoku though, that sucked. Meh. I think I might die, actually, because he's... He's literally like, he's not even battling me and he's killing me. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, okay, I can do some strategy right now. Oh, I can block this thing in. Wait, yeah, that's Magic Jammer, so I'm gonna play the pumpkin. And let's see what the pumpkin do. Oh, it, it was a monster. Oh, instead of letting... Oh, in the last episode, I put Ryuran in a position where he could have run in on Ryuran and lost life points, but he didn't. And I could have attacked him with Ryuran and killed him. Yeah, you know what? I'll just kill him. He has more defense, so I'll, I'll let him just run in on that and kill him. Ugh. Whatever, man. Yeah, I knew it. I killed that card, and I got another turn. You see, this is how you use the law book appropriately. So now, I can move my dude, summon freaking worm, and then freaking worm can be like, uh, freaking needle worm, needle your ass. God. He, in case you couldn't tell, he's kind of pissing me off. Oh, uh, let's see. What did I destroy left? Oh, dark piercing light. Flips all enemy cards on the field face up. Maybe that's the one that if you do three in a row, it's spell, but, you know. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He can summon something right here. I didn't account for that. That sucks. Oh, and I forgot to move Rearan. Oh, my God. This is bad. Oh, no. Oh, well, at least he moved away. At least he's not summoning anything. He didn't play a card. What the heck? Okay, so Rearan's going to go. Got my brigade. You're going to beat yourself up because you're not strong enough. And I'll send Magic Jammer down here because that thing thinks it can take me on. Ah, haha. -ha. I'm not buying it. I'm, I'm really not. Oh, yummy. Yummy is yummy. Um, uh, dang, I wish I didn't sacrifice Skull Knight because now I could, like, really put a hurtin' on him. You know, it's really funny. The m most damage I'm doing on him is because of freaking my, like, my insects. Like, my guys who can survive and crush. That's the only reason I'm, like, doing stuff. I'm gonna see if there's a spell card that I can kill. With my worm. Kill with my worm. Well, at least I'm getting his attack down again. <clears throat> okay, so we moved that thing right by the, the worm, so... I think he wants me to attack it. Oh, shoot! Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Thank you, Magic Jammer. Uh, yeah, that one goes. Uh, I can't tell if this is a bluff or not. I'm gonna go for it, though. Uh, wait, let me see. Actually, instead of going for it, I'm gonna send a stronger guy and go for it. <laughs> oh, it was a trap. Oh, shoot, it's gravity bind. Youch. That's, that's no fun. Alright, so I'm gonna have Needleworm kill this thing. 
And I'm not bringing you out. Like, it's gonna be re ran all the way. Like, he's gonna re -er He re -er ran right after him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to kill him next turn. Because I think I can. I miss Suijin, man. It's not really like I'm upset with the cards I got. Because I got freaking Mick. But I miss Suijin just because it's, like, it's the principle, you know? Suijin's one of my guys. He's one of my favorites. But, hey, at least you turned him into Mick. Mick is awesome. Alright, let's see. What are you gonna do? Uh, I have nothing! I have nothing I can attack him with. That sucks so much. Okay, you know what? F the beetle. F all of this. Well, I'll hang on to the worm in case I do the cocoon. I'll hang on to freaking Yami in case it turns out to be useful. The only use I can see is if he plays a weak monster in the crush and then I activate Yami and send a big heavy after it. I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna assume this isn't a monster. Yes! Alright, what was it? Wait, hold on. Come on. Him? Okay, yeah. Gorgon's Eye. Ooh! This one sucks, because if you play, put something in defense mode, it will literally eternally spellbind it. I know I'm overusing the word literally, but I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, what you gonna do? Uh. Oh shoot! Is that me? Is that the end? Oh come on! Oh freaking life point! Oh it sucks! Wow, I, I lost. I haven't lost since Weevil. But uh, wow! I can't believe I lost. You just gotta do it all over again. I'm gonna see if I can reincarnate. Is that it? If you were dinner, you would fall far short of being an appetizer. Okay, so... It looks as though I'd have to feed on the rest of this world to appease my hunger. Okay, so I think the world just got destroyed. But because it's a video game, I can try again. So let's just ignore the fact that I just let entire all of humanity down. Uh, can I reincarnate something? Please? No? Okay, cool. So, back to it, eh? Freaking, he's got some crazy spells and traps. He's got, like, two just desserts, a tremendous fire, and all those Ririokus. Like, yeah, he could kill you without even touching you. Like, I think this was the one I was supposed to do second. I really am beginning to think this is the campaign I was supposed to do second. Oh, well, at least his music is awesome. So, round two. I'm not gonna really cut anything out because, come on, this is like a big penultimate battle. You, you watch it, watch all of it. If you don't wanna watch it, then just don't. <laughs> all right, cool, I got a guy who can survive in the crush right off the bat. He's got so many freaking evil cards though. He's got like gravity bind and like all sorts of stuff. And I don't even wanna know. Cool, we killed one of his traps already. Gorgon's eye right off the bat, like, Okay, so I didn't say before. I, I guess I did, yeah. In defense mode, it doesn't just like, it's not like Shadow of Eyes where it just like, like oh, you can't go defense. Gotta be an attack. Like, no. It, it will literally like eternally spellbind anything that tries to go into defense mode. It sucks a ton. And he's got it, like, it's evil. But I think you could actually get that from his roulette, so I'm a-okay. Oh my god, yes, thank you. I just got a whale on this mother, like... <laughs> you, get, you can't let him get too far, like, he's got too much... He's, he's packing too much sauce, you know? Uh, I don't want to kill the zombie with the petite moth, but I kind of want to max my damage. Uh, I shouldn't, though, I really shouldn't. I know she's got zero, but she's a scout. Like, she won't take battle damage, which is great. What's she gonna do? Oh, the fours! It hurts. It hurts through the game. So he's played another Ririoku. This guy's very beefed up. Uh, do I have a trap? No, I don't. Uh, alright. Scared for my life. Um... Oh, well, dang. Uh, I guess the moth. The moth. Go, my caterpillar. <laughs> Bite him or something. Crawl on him and make him really irritated. Okay. Like, seriously, like, I have to use two monsters 
to attack. Oh my god, I think he can kill me. I think if, like, even if that monster dies in Crush... Okay, good, good, good. It's too stupid to do that. I'm gonna say, even if this monster attacked, like, Petite Moth, it's only, like, 300 attack, like, points from a direct attack. Like, that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. But it's got a power increase, which is good. Um, I mean, no. That's also bad. However, I think... Oh, holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh! How about that? Wow. I think I just got really lucky that round. Oh man. Thank you, Judge Man. <laughs> Okay, that's really anticlimactic. Oh, he's got... Oh, I guess I can't get Gorgon's Eye. I literally am limited to that Mega Morph he just used. Wow. Okay. Okay, <laughs> at least I got it. <laughs> that would have been awful if I didn't. Which is cool. It, it, it ups the power of any monster. Like, it, any monster. It's only 300 attack, but it could make a difference. So awesome. What madness is this? I cannot lose. I am the guardian of the cards. There's a heart of the cards line in here somewhere. I can't find it. So uh, before any craziness happens, I'm going to end this episode. So thanks for so much for watching. We completely we went from getting our ass like destroyed to like sodomizing this guy. So I'm pretty happy. Peace out.